Hi there, this is Tony from ABS. In this video, I want to show you the capabilities of ChatGPT about recognizing pictures. So I have a picture of a local Puerto Rican beer. I'm going to paste it in here. It's called Medalla. So I'm going to train the ChatGPT to understand that this is a Medalla can. I'm going to say, this is a Medalla can of beer so now it has a memory and basically has a picture of what is the object it's actually providing me some information about it the other thing I want to ask ChatGPT is to see and test how well it will count now that it knows what a medalla can is how many it will count from this picture that has multiple can you count how many medalla cans do you see in this picture and let's see what the output is and see if it's even close so as you can see right from here easily you can find one two three four five you know what, what you can see right there's probably six here there's probably under six so there's 12 plus six plus six so it's about four times six is only four and let's see so as you can see it doesn't really count that well and it's probably because it's just counting how many you can actually read it will not count like the tops so let's see Medalla 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So as you can see, it can only count where it can recognize the whole object and it will not be able to count where the whole object is not shown. So it cannot assume, it seems that it can, it's not ready to assume that, you know, if you see all this, this is a six pack and each one of them contains six and then just add the multiplication. So in that case, I will just rate this as not good. Because, you know it's 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 not showing what exactly we will want win an accurate count so I'm gonna submit the feedback so that actually it can return now it's trying to approximate and doing not a bit effort but at the end either of the yeah this is a bit better but it's still not that good So I submitted more and as you can see just you know I'm just gonna say this is not good now another example I want to show you in this video is at least how well it can recognize different objects instead of just counting them because you know as you can see counting may not work specifically if the objects not shown in full but in this case I have this vendor machine picture I have this vendor machine picture and I need you to tell me all the different products you can see so let's see how well it does with this one so there are several products in here I see some Pepsi's and different flavors of Pepsi I think this is 7-Up Somehow this is a or pineapple juice or something like that. Sprite. We got Fanta. We got this probably tea. This is Coke, Diet Coke. There's probably another flavor of Coke, and so on and so forth. Uh, got some waters, and then at the bottom, you know, has Mountain Dew. Some other bottles in here. They're not clearly visible. So I'm wondering what what will it return in those cases? So you can, as you can see here in the answer, it found the Pepsi, that a Pepsi Seven Up, Tango. So maybe one of those is Tango, I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with that brand. But somehow it recognized Tango, maybe it's not even true. We got it Sprite, it has some orange drink that is not labeled, we couldn't recognize the label. Um, it has an Estique or Cola that I Coke, Dr. Pepper. It's still kind of showing, at least it's describing what it sees, even though you cannot read it. Uh, but at least it gives you a good 
check, right? Uh, without you know that much effort, uh, it can go through some of the pictures and identify some of those for you. I bet you that it, as long as you can provide more clear pictures where the branding is is uh, readable, probably it can convert uh, those labels into the actual brand and identify them correctly. But from my opinion, I think it's a pretty pretty good guess, right? Even though it, the picture is not that clear, it's not in the highest resolution, and and you know it can identify at least colors, bottles, and all that kind of stuff, and give me a quick idea of what I can see on that picture. Probably if you can put some other pictures, uh, it can probably recognize it better. Let's see what it does with a picture of a of a beach in Puerto Rico. Can, can you this describe what you see in this picture? I'm gonna paste this picture here. It's a beach, actually it's a screenshot of my desktop, which actually contains some icons in it. So let's see how well it does with this one. So the image shows showcases a stunning coastal landscape. The vast expanse of the deep blue ocean stretches of the horizon in the foreground. So as you can see, it can go into into different uh, descriptions of what this picture is. Uh, I wonder if you can just challenge it with more and more pictures and how good it, it gets, right? Remember that this feature of pictures is recently new. So I bet you they're going to be continuing uh, to improve it as, as they go, right? And as the model gets trained even better and better, it will be able to recognize more and more things about it. So I think, you know, we can definitely play around with ChatGPT and see and test how well it actually becomes um, identifying objects with pictures. So well, this is a quick video about how ChatGPT images work. I hope you like it and feel free to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye now.